then I'm going to get it. My wife said, oh, man, something happened. I said, what? She doesn't want to tell me. So I reached over there, we got over there, and my guitar was cracked open. I mean, it was, I'll send you the photos later on, but it was like cracked, this big crack right on the edge. And it looked like they dropped it from like 100 feet up in the sky. And usually I hand carry it, but, it, but you know, it was a choice between having the bento lunch I was eating or, and carrying the guitar. So I said, ah, I just send the guitar in, I just can't eat the bento lunch. So you went bento? <laughs> yeah. And then, man, that, that guitar was totally trashed. It's on the side. So you know, we cracked this whole piece all the way off. You can see the case was in there. This case can take a thousand pounds of pressure. I'll tell you. So the, 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 the From the is, pictures, it looks like it was run over. Yeah. Actually, it was probably dropped. What, what, what is this? Imagine the TSA did check it, but as it was going up the thing, it got stuck somehow on the ramp going into the plane, and then it fell straight like that, and it must have hit something on the edge that made it crack all the way down. Yeah, so. That's what happened? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, I wasn't there to see, but, you know, my psychic mind is telling me this is what happened to my guitar, you know. What kind of guitar was it? Uh, this is uh, Art Davis. It was custom made for me. Usually these things cost about $20,000. This guy who built the guitar with me used to make guitars for Taylor Guitars in San Diego. And he chopped down the, the wood for the tree when it's only 10 years old with his great grandfather, who was a woodmaker. So he had this tree, it was called uh, Monterey Spruce, sitting on his house. He had some uh, pearls that came from Tahiti that he used for the inlay work. It had all of, you know, my, my Amaku, which is the shark, it had the taro leaf, you know, it's like an extended family. It had all this beautiful stuff. In it. And here's these crack with the screws popping in. It's almost it's like a friend. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a wife, you know. <laughs> so it hurts. So it hurts, yeah. But uh, the thing is, you know, the airlines should look at this as like, this is, God, come on, this is our livelihood. Musicians make their life. And then, Musicians bring life to the world, and they're, they're, they're also it's just like a common, common denominator. You know, there's so many wars and everything going on, but music is really there to bring peace to a lot of people. We, we're breaking down barriers here, you know. And you, you should be a little bit more careful. That's all. Yeah, thank you. Well, thanks for the opportunity to share. I can't mention the airline's names, but all I can say is... You better not say <laughs> Thank you. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cox, for the